Jamie Small last updated 1945, August 25, 2017 Christchurch Temporary Amy Stadium during the recent Super Rugby semi-final. Authorities to stop piddling around and make a decision on a new stadium for Christchurch, some former All Blacks say. Playing at home in Canterbury was a career highlight for some former All Blacks, who say the region needs a good replacement for Lancaster Park. Former All Blacks captain and Canterbury player Tarnay Norton said it was a great experience to play in Christchurch. Former All Blacks captain Tarnay Norton says the city's temporary stadium has just about done its day. It was one of your proudest moments to run out onto Lancaster Park for the first time, whether it be a club game or an international game, it was just special, he said. Read more Why Should Canterbury and Z's most successful rugby region miss out on All Blacks tests Three-year All Blacks test drought for Christchurch $120 million pledged by government for Christchurch stadium parties expected to make pledges on stadium shortfall New Christchurch Arena could have solid roof and retractable playing field who will pay for shortfall in Christchurch proposed new stadium. On Friday, New Zealand Rugby released its test match schedule for the next couple of years, revealing Christchurch would not host an international game until at least 2020. All Black captain Kieran Reid says Christchurch needs something like Dunedin's Forsyth Bar Stadium. Norton said he was disappointed by the decision. I think Christchurch and Canterbury need something decent for us to get test matches. A new stadium could bring in other sports and events as well as rugby, he said. Former All Black Fergie McCormick of the closed Lancaster Park in 2016. I know people get worried about the cost to the rates but these organisations, whether it be the council or the rugby union or the government, they must know we need it. The stadium we are using has now just about done its day. It wasnt a great stadium at any stage but it got us through a fairly long period. Current All Blacks captain Kieran Reid said not having tests in Christchurch just meant more time away from home. I think the reality has probably sunk in. We need to get a stadium. Hopefully that is on the horizon. He said he would like to see something like Dunedin's Forsyth Bar Stadium in Christchurch, which had more than 30,000 seats and a roof. Former All Black and Canterbury rugby player Fergie McCormick said the lack of tests in Christchurch was a disaster that was doing damage to Canterbury rugby. Former All Black captain Reuben Thorne says a new stadium will provide huge benefits to Christchurch. He acknowledged New Zealand rugby had to make decisions as a business, but home games were important for Canterbury-based All Blacks and for spectators. A lot of people can't afford to fly to Auckland to watch a test, McCormick said. Someone's got to get off their bloody backsides and make a decision on a new stadium. We've been piddling around here for five years and more waiting. Former Crusaders and All Blacks captain Reuben Thorne said it was important as a major city for Christchurch to have a suitable stadium, like every other major city did. It's just a matter of deciding how far and how much money we're prepared to spend on it. The longer we wait, the more expensive it's going to get. We're worried about the money right here and now, but if we spread that over 50 to 100 years, the benefits back to the city will be huge. Trafalgar Park in Nelson, which will host its first All Blacks test in. 2018, was not up to the same standard as Christchurch Amy Stadium, Thorne said. I'm not sure quite how they've worked that out. Tasman Rugby Union Chief Executive Tony Lewis said the bid for the test guaranteed a financial return to New Zealand rugby, but the amount was confidential. A pre-feasibility study on a new multi-use arena recommended a $496 million stadium for Christchurch, featuring a roof, 25,000 permanent seats, and a retractable turf. The council will contribute $253 million and the National Party has pledged $120 million if it remains in power, leaving a $123 million shortfall for the preferred option. Greater Christchurch Regeneration Minister Nikki Wagner did not rule out the idea of a special regional rate to help pay for the stadium, but said nobody wanted it to cost the people of Christchurch more. All ideas are on the table and I encourage everyone to be thinking about how we can use and pay for this facility stuff.